Hi guys, got a request here from Fononga Fakai to make a rubber band powered car using a bottle and wheels. Well, <laughs> I do lots of rubber band powered cars, I'm sure people have seen enough of them. So I want to try and do something slightly different. It's still going to be a rubber band powered car using this plastic bottle for the body or chassis, but I'm going to use these for wheels. These are the plastic tops off of some uh, cream pots or containers. They're not very strong, so what I'm going to do is cut up some polystyrene pizza trays to make discs to actually strengthen them. But these will be the main wheels. And I'll try and do it without using any hot glue. I'll use sticky tape or something to stick them in there. Uh, I shall use my soldering iron to melt some holes for the axles to go through. You could use any sort of hot wire or a nail or just push the holes through I suppose with something sharp. I shall use my soldering iron because it's convenient. And I'll use the usual barbecue skewers for the axles. And as I say, I'll try and do it without hot glue. It's not going to be a terribly powerful car because it's going to be quite short, so there's only going to be one or two rubber bands in there. And we don't want it to be too powerful because I expect we'll get wheel spin with these because they won't have a lot of grip. I will speed up the video once we get going. make it easier 
to attach the rubber band to the back axle, I can use this cable tie. so we can hook the rubber band on there. Test run time. I think we're going to have some problems with wheel spin because this is a very light car for those sort of wheels. Because there's just the very tips of them, the edges are going to be making contact so there's not a lot there to grip the ground. Still, I've put rubber bands in, they're connected to that going across the front there. So we can just hook it over that um, cable tie that I put on there. I'll do that again because it slipped out of my hand. Right, cable tie, which is just acting as a hook to hook the rubber band onto. So we'll wind it up a little bit, put it down and let it go and as you see wheel spin still went about three meters but uh, we should be able to go much further than that if we can stop the wheel spin so i will add some weight to it that's one of the options we could put rubber around the t around the wheels like tires to give us extra grip but i just happen to have some plasticine Plasticine, which is like putty that my grandchildren have been using. So I'll flatten some of that, stick it to the wheels so the wheels are heavier, and see how we go. Right, I've flattened some, it's still soft. But that'll make the wheel heavier, and that'll help it to grip the ground. And away we go. Didn't go very straight that time. I'll try that again. there's balloons around it's because it was my wife's birthday yesterday okay try that again to the right a little bit. Well I'm not going to worry about that. The principle works. You can spend time trimming it to make it go straight but that's good enough for me. So job done.